Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Boston and I'm a music photographer based in Los Angeles and I do videos on music photography and general photography stuff and today is a day that we are working on general photography stuff and I am so excited about this because if you've been watching my channel you've known that during the pandemic I've really grown into being weirdly obsessed with film. That was like my one hobby or like thing that I tried to dive into more um, during the quarantine time where I had time to just go shoot random stuff. And it was so much fun to dive into like developing film. I tried to develop film and we'll probably get into that another day on my channel. Um, and just like take pictures on film. I felt like I learned a lot more um testing on film because I just had to be very aware of my settings so it was a whole thing for me it was just a whole new experience I got really excited about it and with all that I just like I had a lot of things I wanted to do I wanted to scan a whole bunch of film negatives I had I am actually in the process of scanning a whole like archive of negative slides that I had from my grandfather so it's been a really really fun experience and I did a video on my channel of this guy. This is the uh, Kodak scan and slide. It's not supposed to be like a high-end scanner if you're scanning and printing your film, but for me I've been trying to digitize memories and have some slides and some negatives from my family converted into something that we can all share online and this has been so lovely and so helpful for me. And then also to pay for just the developing of my film and then I can scan it myself because I've just been posting things on social media and this scanner works really well with that. So I've been really obsessed with this and the next step of things I wanted to get into was 8mm video film. So this is also a camera that I have. This is my grandfather's and I have never used it. It's got like dust and stuff all over it. With this camera I just feel like there's so much still that I need to learn. Like l literally have not scratched the surface on how to use this but I do have film for it and I'm so excited. I want to use it in music videos. I'm just super excited about it. But recently I was reached out to because of my video with this one and I got another scanner. So we're gonna unbox it today and look at the product. I'm not going to be able to use it today because I do not have anything to digitize with it, but we are going to do that. I am going to follow up on this, but today is just about the unboxing, what comes with it. Because this is a higher price point item, I wanna show you guys what the product looks like and like how it feels, how it works when you turn on, whether or not it's easy to use. All of that I feel like you can tell without actually putting the product to work and then obviously you need to focus on quality and all of those things. So this will probably be more than one video on this but today we're doing the unboxing. So if you want to see how this product works quality wise and you are seeing this video like recently after I post it, please come back, save it, come back and there'll be another video about the quality and like actually going through the process. So once that video is done it'll be tagged below so no worries about that but before I just continue rambling Let's dive into the unboxing. Just a heads up, I got a new monitor. I don't know if I really like it. I'm probably gonna return it. Did a video on it the other week, so that video will be tagged somewhere up here. But if I look up, I apologize. There is a big screen above me and it's just very distracting. So I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's not the perfect setup. I'm still, I'm still getting used to things over here. Anyway, diving into this. I'm gonna unbox it. I'm always worried that I'm just like gonna cut and rip the thing apart. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. It's a big box. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the film digitizer. It looks crazy. It looks like something that I'm probably gonna break right away. I am not very nice to 
any of my gear so I'm very aware of that but I'm gonna be nice to it I promise I promise okay coming out of the box he got a pretty lengthy okay this definitely has actual details in it so I'm gonna have to read this before I use it y'all know me hate reading those but I feel like for this I probably should comes with the reel on top um, very nicely packaged. Da -da. This is what it came like. Set this aside. What else is in here? Okay, so these are just all my power cables and cords and stuff. I'm a huge bubble wrap fan, so this is gonna be great for me to just play with later. I mean, how can you not like bubble wrap? It's just so much fun. Very very sleek which makes things so much easier for me if you're anything like me you have a bad memory and having lines and drawings like this to set up the actual machine is super super helpful so i love that it's very much like a sewing machine i don't know if any of you have ever sewed it looks super straightforward so there's only a slider for eight millimeter film and super eight film slides right through on this little section if you can see that i'm trying to show you what the the sensor for the scan is actually like right here and then obviously you can watch it on the screen you have your okays and powers all at the top focus on that thank you and then on the back you have your just a spot for your sd card and then your inputs. I have really liked on the photo scanner that you just put an SD card on the back here and like put it in and you just hit okay and it scans right to your SD card. Everything that I do is on SD cards. It makes it super convenient for me that everything's just right there. It looks like you can plug it directly into your computer as well so I am very excited about that. Okay, these little things wing up such a satisfying click okay i plugged it in because i want to see if we can turn it on right away and what it looks like put this little wheel on here i'm not sure if that's the side that it goes on or not but you only have three options here you have capture menu and settings let's just go directly into capture it just starts the scan right away and you can go ahead and record so it's just pulling up what it would show you if i actually put film through it and then let's go back to the menu okay so you can edit your recording i guess my recording see what's on the sd card rewind fast forward super straightforward i feel like with these digitizers there's only a few options like obviously you're just trying to record and scan what you have so it doesn't need to do a lot format your <laughs> sd card reset if it needs to sounds super straightforward which makes me happy i'm gonna say straightforward like maybe way too many times i just switched it over to super 8 and it just adjusted as needed this little um, scanner, this is actually really neat. You just slide the film through there and this clicks right down on top of it to hold it in place while it's actually feeding through. So I think what I would recommend is if you're using this, obviously be careful of your film that you're actually putting through it. Like make sure that you're <laughs> not, you know, getting your oils and your hands and everything all over it. And then also like, be aware of what you're putting it on so I would probably clean this every single time that I use it therefore so I don't scratch everything up pretty straightforward if you're trying to digitize your film at home so I'm very excited about this I cannot wait to use it but I haven't recorded anything yet so I need to find a band who wants to shoot a short video or something with me and then um you know get my film ready to go and digitize it i'm super excited about it i just don't want to waste film because i know that it is expensive um and the film that i have is probably really expired so i'll have to figure that out for someone like me i really dive into hobbies and spend a lot of money like working through them so I like items like this where I can digitize my own stuff and maybe save a few bucks 
This is, like I said, a hair price point item, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you are doing a lot of digitizing, like you're actually going through a lot of avometer film. But I do think that this is a fantastic idea for someone who has a ton of film from their family. I think that sitting down and actually digitizing things, like, it's so much fun. And honestly, it can get really expensive. So if this is something that you can just set it and go, like, start recording, it's going to do the work for you. You just have to set it up. You're going to save probably a lot of money if you have a lot of items to digitize. So really, really neat as we get kind of into the digital age. I know my grandparents especially have a lot of film and like I'm archiving a ton of their photos. So if you're someone that, you know, your grandparents have a lot of video and you need to archive it and it's way too expensive, this might be a good option for you. And then if you use it once, resell it. See if there's someone else out there that might want to digitize their own videos as well. There's just so many options uh, that you have instead of just spending a lot of money to get things digitized. Anyway, that's my point of view on this. I'm actually super happy that this is straightforward. I thought that I was going to open up the box and there were going to be so many things to like select and set up. And this is seriously like the instructions walk you through where you put your film, like where you put your fingers to like set it up. They show you the whole thing. And there's also videos for the QR codes, which makes it really easy to see this guide just like in person and have someone walk through it. So I think that this is fantastic and I really can't wait to start using it. So anyway, that is my unboxing of this thing. It's still plugged in. I, I meant to shut you off. I don't, we don't need to waste your battery. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will put out another video, like I said, of actually getting this working and set up with my own video film. Um, but since this was sent to me, I wanted to put this up right away because I am so excited about using it and I wanted to share with you guys that this is on the way. So super stoked. We'll be in touch about this. Let me know what questions you have. If you have ever considered digitizing your videos and if you have video film, can I have it? Like I will, I'll pay you for shipping if you let me digitize it. Like that'd be so much fun. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you would find use for this or if you've been looking for something like this. I'm very curious about how many people are actually aware or want to digitize any of their own video footage because I think that like scanning photo film is a little bit more common. So I'm very curious about this one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I just wanted to really unbox this and open it up because I'm so stoked. But anyway, comment below about video stuff. I'd love to hear from you guys and I will see you in the next one. And hopefully we'll get some video digitized with this guy. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.